Hey, it's me again, voiceover guy. I just wanted to say that the, at the time of recording this, my area is getting a snowstorm. So if you hear any funny noises, I really do apologize. Also, since YouTube has finally given me a graph, I can confidently say that 58.6% of you are not subscribed. Please subscribe. As a small channel, every subscription really does help me immensely. Enjoy the video. Hello, and welcome to the VTOL VR F45A head-mounted display tutorial. This is going to be a long one, so grab your popcorn. So, let's get right into it, starting at the top from going to the bottom. At the top, there's a compass. This shows the heading of your aircraft. So if you move, if you change your heading, it will adjust the display at the top. Directly below that and to the left, there's no arm. If you arm your systems. Right now it says what I have armed, in this case the GAU-22, and how many rounds are left in it. You can see as I switch between what I have armed, it will change what I have. Next, directly below that, there is a number. It says 505. That is your current airspeed in knots by default. So if you go slower, you that air that number goes down. Now going all the way to the right, it says ASL and a four digit number. That is your current altitude in feet. ASL means it is feet from the sea level, but if you go on your multifunction display and click altitude mode it turns to RDR which is your which is the ships or the aircraft's radar next below your airspeed there is three numbers the M, M G and Alpha the M is your speed in Mach so if that number is 1.0 you're going the speed of sound or Mach 1 if it is 0.5, you're going half the speed of this of sound, or Mach 0.5. The G is the current G zero pulling. If you pull too many genes, eventually you will faint. Let's see if I can get that to happen. Well. Doesn't look like it can get it to happen here. Let me try again. Nope. Oh well. Can't get it to happen here, but if you faint, your vision goes all black and you can't hear anything. Fainting is not fatal, but you cannot see anything, which makes it pretty difficult to pilot the aircraft. If you have negative Gs, your vision will start to turn red, and you will not be able to see anything either. Like that. Again, makes it very difficult to pilot an aircraft. The A is your angle of attack. Angle of, of attack is kind of like your lift vector, but it is a little bit more complicated than that. I'll have a video in the description explaining exactly what angle of attack does. That is the little alpha symbol. Next, below that, there is tilt. That is the current engine tilt. Right next to that is the throttle indicator. Middle is the the line in the middle is the midpoint. The line at like about 80% is afterburner. So if you go past that line, you've initiated afterburner. It just shows where the throttle is, just on your head mounted display if you don't want to look down. Opposite of that is the joystick indicator. That is the dot shows you exactly where the joystick is, and then the line shows you how yaw is. Right above that is the VERT or vertical. That is how uh, high, if, you, if the higher the number, the faster you're going upwards. If it's negative, it's the faster you're going downwards. In the center, there is, excuse me, let me just disarm my thing. In the center, there's a little W type thing. That 
is where your nose is pointing. Directly below that, there's a circle with three lines. That is where you're heading towards, which is different than your nose. So, while my nose is pointing at the middle of the mountain right now, if I keep on going at this heading, I will eventually land at where that beach is. And there is obviously the degrees that you're pointing as you go up your... Once you go up to about to completely there, you're 90 degrees up and the sea is directly... And the sea is directly down. Next, if you have any warnings on your display, for example, if... You have your parking brake on. It'll say it right there where it says brake lock. And if you look away, there's a handy little secondary display. The secondary display shows um, on the left your current airspeed, on the right your uh, your altitude, at the top your heading, which is not the heading of the ship, but the heading that you are looking at. And below there, one moment, is what you have armed and the amount of shots left. That's pretty much it. Have a great day.